All right, so we're going to solve these two questions right here, which we're referring to this table. So pause it and try it out on your own. Otherwise, press play and we'll solve it together. All right, let me clear this off here. In the first question, we're told that a voter is picked at random, and we're also told that they're 21 years old and that it's a he. So these are called conditions and probability. The conditions we're told is that they're 21 years old and that they identify as he. So we want to know then, what would you expect essentially? Would they indicate that they want to build a new high school, yes or no? Well, in conditional probabilities on tables, you you start to look at certain rows, in this case this one, in columns, in this case these two right here. And what we see is that we're really dealing with a population of these 37 males. They're both males and in that age group right there. So that would give us a total population of 37. And out of that population, 29 uh, males said yes, they would expand or vote to build, excuse me, a new high school. So I would say yes. And the reason I would say yes is that it's greater than 50%. So yes, I would expect that. So the goal is to use these conditions to isolate what numbers we're looking at in the probability here. And I have a typo in this spot. I'm just going to cross it out. I should say 7. In the next situation, they ask if the person's 55 years old, okay, that's our first condition, would she indicate the town to build a new high school? So now we're looking at this and, right, oh, not, not that. We're looking at this right here and that they're female. And that brings us at these intersections here. There are 71 females that we're looking at. And out of those 71 females, 36 said they would. So take that off. So we have 36 females in that age range that said yes out of 71. So again, I would say yes, right, just barely, just barely greater than 50%. I would say yes. I think they would vote for it. So your, your job in many of these problems is to identify what are the conditions that I'm looking at. Because once you know the conditions, um, you can find the probabilities. That changes your total, essentially, population that you're looking at. Depends on what those conditions are. All right, I hope this helped.